All right, so this is my second attempt at making my steady rest. The first one, I pushed it a little bit too hard and cracked that whole sucker in half. And I was so happy with it when I first uh, tried it out because it worked really well. So anyway, so I'm taking some three quarter inch MDF here and cutting out a little semicircular part um, that I'm gonna add to my original pattern uh, to make the cavity in the green sand a little bit bigger. Here I'm cutting the semicircular part on my uh, metal band saw and then took it over to the sander. It worked out pretty good and as you notice I uh, took the little table and adjusted it at a bit of an angle because I need a, about a 5% or 5 degree angle um, for the pattern so I can pull it back out of the green sand. Um, after some sanding it was all ready and here I'm starting to make the actual green sand. did actually blog about this as well and a, a YouTube video on how I constructed it. It works out really, really well. I love the ingots. My son, he loves them too. And uh, then this was the uh, cleaned up and finished, almost finished, uh, steady rest. I had to make some extra bolts as well because obviously it's thicker now. Uh, so it has to go all the way through and, and that was a fun project. I reused the uh, adjustment, the knurled adjustment knobs and the brass parts. Um, and I didn't take any video of machining the, uh, the steady rest this time because the process is pretty much the same as when I did it the first time around. So this is the finished product. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Um, definitely wish I didn't have to do it the second time around, but uh, it it worked out a lot better the second time, obviously, because I knew how to do it. So uh, I probably won't use it for many years, but when I do, I'll have one. And this was a fun project. I'm, uh, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So thanks for watching. Hope you're going to enjoy and uh, subscribe. And I'll see you again some other time. Bye.